Good evening and welcome to the Simply Colorful Fibercast. Today's date is December 9th, 2016. My name is Lynn Marquidant and I'm your host. Welcome. For those of you who are new, I'm so glad you could join us. Fibercast is a weekly show where we quilt together, we sew together, we create anything fiber related together. So welcome. Today we're going to talk about and make a Dear Jane block specifically B11, which is a bottom row, BR11, it's called tartan, and it's one of the triangles that goes around the edge. We're going to talk about what happened in this day in history in past years. I love to see what you're working on. Send me email at lmarquidant at gmail.com. Show me what you're working on so I can show it to the other fiber casters. And welcome to all of you from around the world. I'm so glad you could join me. Today I pulled out, remember this fabric from our brown bag mystery quilt of just a month ago or so? I'm going to use that now in my Dear Jane quilt. For those of you who may or may not know, I started a beach themed Dear Jane quilt. These are my blocks so far. And most of them are completely done and documented. A few of them I noticed like this one, which is, J12, Rebecca's basket, I have yet to take the paper off and I have yet to put the handle on the basket. So some of them still need work. This one looks like it needs to be trimmed. I do love to go through them. So Sue Norton, how is your dear Jane coming? I bet you've already surpassed my number of blocks. But aren't they fun? They're like trading cards almost. They're fun to just keep going through. For anyone who hasn't started one of these, ask Santa for Christmas for either, I encourage you to do it because it's a great project to go back to. Ask Santa or whomever gives you gifts, if you give gifts, including yourself, get yourself a gift, get this Dear Jane book or the software, better still get the software and you can print out the blocks for it. It is, really fun. I've been keeping track of the blocks I make. I, I actually glue a piece of the fabric I use and then I write about it, what the date is and what, what's been going on. So that's kind of fun. Like back in July 15th, we made the snowflake melt. It was 90 plus degrees here in Hopkinton today. Did this block on Fibercast. Bobby was working on A1, A2, A3, and A4 going in a row. Such discipline. So, Bobby, if you're out there, where are you now? Uh, okay. So, and I've done a couple of these triangles, but not a lot. There's one. That one. The more contrast, the more dramatic these are. That one has less contrast, but that'll be good. It'll give the eye a place to rest. Okay, so let's put these aside. I also wanted to show you my progress on my UFOs. I have made progress this week. But first, let's just jump right into the one we're going to make. I printed out, I do have the software, and I will put a link on simplycolorful.com that can allow you to click through to the Amazon web page that, that can sell you the book and the software. Here is what I printed out, and I love this. This is the true size. Make sure you print out true size. Make sure you don't get it to fit the page because that can alter the, the shapes. But this one is the BR11 Tartan, and I have to cut those pieces out, and I'm literally going to just use these two colors. I went looking for my white because you'll notice that all of these have pretty much a white background. If you look closely, it's not the same exact white. And because with all of this moving with the, the studio and having been at the vineyard and traveling and yada, 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 I wasn't sure where my white was. Well, I was lucky enough to find it all in one place. Check this out. I think I have enough white for my quilt. So I'm really glad about that, that I could find that. It was in my bedroom. Okay, in our bedroom. 
Um, so first things first, all I do, and lately I've been treating my scissors, I've been cutting paper because I believed someone sent, telling me that paper is fiber and it won't dull the scissors. I have no idea if that's true or not. I'd be curious to hear your comments. I'm so glad to have our new viewers. I want to thank our new subscribers. I've been seeing you come onto YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Go to youtube.com simply slash simply colorful one and click subscribe so that you hear when we go live, what we're doing. And then I also want to thank my patrons for their support and um, that you get to by patron.com slash simply colorful. So now I have all these pieces and I have to cut out, I guess the shaded is what will be this green and the white will be this white. Oh, who's that? Why, Chris Myers, hello. Oh, Chris has sent one of her famous pictures. I love these things. I want to show everyone. T-G-I-F. I love those things. Oh, I miss you too. Look at this. Look at that. Aw, happy Friday. Happy Friday to everyone out there. I hope that you had a good week. Aren't we so lucky we get to get together once a week? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I'm just going to start in this first one. And... I want to give a shout out to Wendy down under and her son and family. He's playing in a golf tournament. I want to say it's a Greg Norman championship of some sort. I saw his name on the, the board there. It looked very official. Okay. Usually when I've done this, I've had my pieces all cut out, but I thought tonight, no. Because I've been busy with my UFOs, I did not have time to do all this pre-work. But that's okay. Okay, I have this on. I have my aura fill. I'm going to go down to 1.6. Keep it really tight. Remember when we do paper piece and the reason we want to keep the stitch length tight is so that we can rip the paper off easily. And it's right sides together on the back of where it's printed. So tell me, who watched the Midnight Quilting with Angela Waters, I think is her name. What a hoot. She made a big quilt in seven and a half minutes with wine, red wine and popcorn, and she never once spilled the wine on her quilt. That, I thought, was a feat. I really enjoyed it. It was entertaining. So if you didn't see it, go to Craftsy, C-R-A-F-T-S-Y, and look for, it's a midnight quilt, quilting party online. And like I say, it's seven minutes, and she makes a nice quilt. The, I think they offer the pattern for free. <laughs> She's funny. She says she likes big quilts. She cannot lie. She likes the big blocks because they go faster. So it was cute. Okay. This always uses a lot of fabric, but try not to think about it. See, so we're already getting down. <laughs> it's so painful. I said to my mother and sister, when I spend money, I get a physical, physical painful reaction. Not all the time, but sometimes. And it's kind of like having to cut extra fabric, you know. Although I've gotten much better. Okay. In fact, these squares are so small, I should keep some of these that I'm cutting off. Okay, there's one piece.
Now, Carol Doak, and I say this every time, I know I do, she is really precise with her paper piecing, and she would never do what I'm doing. She'd iron it, and then she would put it down on her, her rotary cutter, and she would use the rotary cutter to cut it out. This works for me. Okay, there's one piece. So why don't we put all of the pieces that we make right there? And if this goes well, by the end of the night, we will have one of these done. Okay, I'm going to do another one. Mm -hmm. to make sure the right side is out. So seeing Angela on that show, it made me realize, you know, we're coming up on three years of doing Fibercast. I cannot believe this. Three years of us sewing together. So Peggy and KK and uh, Colleen and everyone out there that has been here since the beginning, Jean, Kelsey, Joyce, Chris, Thank you. I cannot believe how far we've come and how f I'm fascinated by how things are changing online. It's kind of exciting. Like I, I've started making these dolls, right? And I, I'm trying to sculpt a head, a doll head. And it shouldn't be that hard. Do you think I can figure it out yet? I just am having a hard time with the human head figure. So I went online on YouTube, and I love that there's all of these um, videos showing us how to make this and that. We live in a very fun time. Still hasn't improved my doll, my doll head making, but I'll get there. In fact, I can't believe this is happening again. I have textile tarts tomorrow morning. We're going to go there again at 930 so we can work on our It's My Party dolls. And then we'll have a little holiday swap for the Guardian Angel doll that I made last week or the week before. Isn't it good that we're not doing that tonight? I'm glad that I'm not having to cram that in. And then we're doing a cookie swap. So I just made biscotti. And that's downstairs cooling. And with any luck, the band won't come by and eat it. They won't. Okay, so that's one more piece of white, and this one's done. So, we have I got a call from the furniture people and they're going to deliver the top of this island on the 20th of December. They called me and said it had arrived at some shipping dock <laughs> and it had to be shipped here to Massachusetts and then they would come deliver it. And it turns out that I will be driving to my sister's that day. So Bob will be here to receive it. So I won't get to see it until Christmas, but that's okay. Okay, there's another one. Be interesting to see where those fit. Okay, so 
this one requires some bigger pieces of the blue, which I like. Okay. So we have one. Two together. <laughs> I just finger press these open, and that usually works just fine. Let's see if this is big enough. Like I say, you use a lot of fabric. That's okay. Boy, I love this aura filled thread. How's your Christmas shopping coming, everyone? For those of you who observe Christmas, I'm curious to hear. I've been to the post office a fair number of times. I've done most of my shopping, I think. I keep saying to Bob, I don't want a thing. And then I whisper in his ear, but I do like Joanne's gift certificates. But that's it. I don't need a thing. We're going to be donating some quilts. Because how? after all, how many quilts does one person need? And then I have an idea for a mystery quilt that we're going to start at the beginning of the new year again. And it's, it's not so, it's a, it's a really, it's a selfish thing on my part because I need a quilt that is for, commemorates UMass. I've mentioned it before that we're going to create a quilt and raffle it off for the scholarships for UMass. And I want to do it in their colors, which is the maroon and white. So I thought after the new year, we would do a um, school pride quilt. So pick your school, whether it's Emerson or Leslie or Bowdoin or Williams or University of Vermont, University, wherever it is in the whole wide world, you can be thinking about, have you made a quilt? for it, for yourself, for someone in your family. Maybe now's the time to do it. Might be kind of fun. And what I thought was, this will give us a few weeks to get our material. So there are online, there are some sites for some of the, the big college fabrics. Ooh, I'm having trouble with this yarn thread. Remember when we made the Clem Clemson quilt for Tim? And when we made the pillowcases for University of Virginia for Drew, I went online and I found sources for those fabrics. So you might want to do that. And I think I'll do that for UMass. I'm going to go find some UMass fabric. Not a lot of it. Maybe two yards. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do. It won't be a it won't be a hard pattern. It'll be something that we probably already all know. It'll be just a standard pattern that, or maybe we all pick a different pattern and we all share it. So that is the latest thinking on that because I need to get that one's going to go to long armor. So Chris or Kelsey, get ready. And I want to finish that in January and then just get that off so that I can get it down to the Cape in time for whatever fundraising they want to do. Okay. And then as always, I'm really, I'm finishing up my UFOs and, 
of which this Dear Jane is also on my UFO list. So by doing this, we're, we're kind of chipping away at that UFO. Although I said that I would not finish this one, and I stick by that. And I'm really going to focus on the dolls next year. I think that's 2017 is going to be the year I kind of find my own style. I've been learning a lot. I still have a ton to learn, but I think it's time to pick a kind of doll that I like to make and make maybe make a series. I think that would be fun. Of course, it doesn't make for great fiber cast because doll making is very, oh, well, because I'm new to it and I haven't done it as much, it's not as second nature as quilting. And it, it make, takes a lot more time and more concentration. So it doesn't translate too well into a fiber cast. So look at that. That's looking pretty. But we'll see. We will see. Maybe we'll do a class next year. That would be a fun thing to do in 2017, too. Hmm. Do you get the, see the edge of this? I'm, you probably can't, but it has the holes in it, the edge of the salvage. Now, I could use that piece, but then those holes would be there. And the question is, is that fine or should I? No. No. I'm going to try and improve my quality control around here. So. There we go. There we go. Right side to right side. There we go. What are we going to write about today in our diary about this particular block, I wonder? Whoops. Good, I didn't lose it. From a weather point of view, it is getting cold here in New England. And I know some you're very hot down under. But it's, there's a cold front coming in, and I think a storm by Tuesday. Our Patriots, our football team, plays Monday night, and they're saying it's going to be cold in the stands. So that's the weather. Let's see. No Christmas parties this weekend, but we do have one next weekend, next door, which is our favorite. So we don't have to walk very far. And Kevin is the best cook. Kevin and Bernadette, if you're out there, hi. And we love to see their friends who have become our friends. Okay. Hold this up to the light. There we go. I need to make sure. Okay, that should work. As far as what happened in the world, oh, I might mention John Glenn, our astronaut who died this week at the age of 95. Godspeed. John Glenn. Wow. Okay, there's another piece. Done. Now I'm just going to cut it. After I'm done cutting this, I'm going to see if anyone's out there. Okay, another piece to the puzzle. I guess maybe we should look and see what it's going to look like. We still have that to do, and this one, and this one. 
All right, but first things first, let's see who's out there. And I know it's a busy time of year. I've been noticing people are shopping a lot on Friday nights. Jean, hello out there. Jean is working on her Yankee swap for next week for the guild party on Tuesday. Okay, let's see. Oh, Wendy is out there down under. Wendy Alford says, Fibercast, hello. Lynn and everyone from the Gold Coast. Aw, and KB says, I'm here too, yay! Hi KB. Wendy says, on the road again, checking out these amazing world-class golf courses. So much green everywhere. She says, I better concentrate on where we are going. It's all aroundabouts and confusing, but lovely seeing different places, aw. That's so great, in your new caravan, right? Have a great weekend, everyone out there, especially you, Lynn. I will have to wait to watch, though. There is no internet where we are parked up in the hills this week, Wendy. Oh, well, when you see this, I hope that Luke has had a great round or couple of rounds and that you've seen some new things as exciting as the Bee Gees last week. We loved that. Thank you for sharing that with us. Linda Griffin, hi. Oh my, Linda, so good to see you. Linda says, I'm just doing strips for four patches while catching you tonight. Your Dear Jane quilt colors are very yummy. Thank you. There are just too many projects going on at once, so I haven't jumped into the Dear Jane project yet. Good for you. No, I, seriously. She says, I'm starting to put together my 2017 All People Quilt UFO Challenge list. Oh my, she says, it's amazing how many of these little buggers there are. <laughs> she says, did you get the top yet for your quilting desk? Looks like it tonight. Well, actually, I didn't. I still have this piece of white Luan. When I get it, it will be a dark brown, and it will come out. It will be a little bit bigger than you see here. But they said on December 20th it should arrive. Oh, and thank you for sending this picture. Aw. Check this out, everyone. I want to try and... Aw, doesn't that look fun? Aw, you're all set up. I love your purples. She says, have a great weekend. Linda G from My Quilt Haven. Aw, I'm so glad you wrote. Oh, Allison and Peter, also down under. She says, hi from warm Queensland. Hi, Lynn. We are back home for a few weeks. Now, as you might all remember, Allie is somewhat recently retired. She and her family, her husband and her son, do, are doing some traveling. They're doing a lot of cruises lately. They caravan, and we love to follow them. So the fact that you're home is good. I'm glad to hear it, but I'm sure you're ready for your next adventure. Anyway, Allie says, I love your quilt in the background. We'll check out the Craftsy video you were talking about. Sounds interesting. Definitely do. Not that I need to start a new quilt, amen. No, she's not, I, the pattern was available and it's these star patterns and it looks really good. You know, there's some big stars and then some little stars and it's a good lap size quilt. But she's, she's entertaining, she's, um, we'll see if she does more. I haven't seen any more advertised, I'm sure they will. So Allie says, I'm working on a baby quilt and I'm about to start the quilting. Then I will get stuck into Bonnie's mystery. Enjoy your weekend, love Allison. Oh, and I'm downloading it right now. <gasps> oh my, look at this everyone. <gasps> I love your colors. Oh, is that fun? Oh, you are prolific. Now, when did you get a chance to do that? And I'm glad you're doing your UFOs. You know what? Speaking of UFOs, I wanted to show you what I made some progress on the dress of my doll that I'm finishing. You see, I put that, I did some embroidery. It's not done. It still needs a lot more embroidery, but it felt good to get a start. 
and I'm ready on that. Now, my camper quilt is all basted, and I, I broke the rule, and I just used my walking foot, and I put the binding on. I'm going to stand up and see if you can see this, and I'm going to just quilt it with my machine, probably Sunday. I'm going to hold this way up. <laughs> so I'm really, I'm pretty pleased with it. I think it'll be, I know it'll be fun to quilt. And the panels, I'm very pleased with adding the panels. As you may have remembered, this was the one I started, what was it, back in October of 2015. So over a year ago, at least. Oh, and on the back, here's what I did on the back. I had made these houses thinking I would put the houses on the camper quilt, but I never found a place, so I at least have it on the back. And um, it'll be fun to quilt. Just on my Bernina. But I put it aside for a long time because I was getting bogged down. I had, had embroidered some things. In fact, I hid some embroidery in here that I had done that I didn't want anymore. So like, like I, I flatter myself, if the historians ever found it and undid it, they would find embroidery. There's a, an embroidered tent in there. There's an embroidered campfire. There's an embroidered standalone pop-up camper. But I covered it right up with a panel. Who's that, Jean? Hi, Jean. Jean to infinity. Oh, Jean says, oh, you like the camper quilt. Jean says, love the camper quilt. Don't forget Christine has a camper panto. Oh, good point. Thank you for letting me know that. Oh, and Karen says, thank you. I might use that camper pantograph on a larger quilt. Maybe I could mix it in with a UMass one, although probably not. Hmm. That one I was going to do by myself because it's it's got little intricacies, but I'll think about that. KB. Hi, KB. I'm going to see you soon. One more fiber cast here next Friday night, and then I'm heading to your house. I can't wait. She says, aw, camper quilt is just beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I was thinking that there, it, it is going to be one of a kind because it's so random and hodgepodge. <gasps> and Chris, Abby and I are doing this tomorrow night. It's paint night on the Cape. Are you kidding me? Oh, boy. How can I turn this? Hang on. Hang on, this is going to be worth it. I have to unlock my phone. <gasps> oh, that is going to be so fun. You know these paint clubs? Chris and her daughter Abby have been painting with, with their paints for a long time now. It's been like a year. Sorry if my phone is dirty. I really like that. It's like a Christmas tree in the Caribbean. Speaking of which, we have to get to La Vista. Ugh. La Vista is in St. Martin. If anyone would like a week in St. Martin, we have a timeshare week for sale down there. <coughs> Conversely, I have to get on the phone next week and bank that sucker. It's a beautiful place. It's not very fancy, really, but it's it's lovely. In fact, maybe I have a picture. Let's look up La Vista. Oh, now since we're dreaming of water and painting, good for you. Are you staying down in the Cape overnight? Let's see, La Vista. Oh, maybe I'll do it on Facebook because they posted a really pretty picture. Marquet, if you're out there, I love the pictures you've been posting from so long ago. Let's see, La Vista Resort. Okay, hang on. There was a picture here. This one.
Now, Wendy and Allie down under aren't going to think this looks so great because they're living it now, but look at that. How's that for fun? That's Saba, that's in the background, the island. And La Vista and La Vista Beach is where we go. And there's a pool up there and a pool down toward La Vista Beach. And either one of them is fabulous. Oh, I missed that place. Hmm. I haven't been there in three years, I think. Oh, Chris. They do, don't they? Chris says, La Vista posts great photos on Facebook. They do. I think I only discovered them because you were liking them. Facebook is a funny thing, isn't it? And she says, I'm not staying overnight. Well, that's good. Excellent. Well, let me get back to the square so that we can do some progress. And I'll check mail again in a minute. I'm so glad you're out there. And I do, I just ordered new business cards, and I definitely am using the Lynn at simplycolorful.com email address. I just still haven't figured out how to get it here on my phone. And here's the reason why. I thought at the least I could explain why I haven't done it yet. In my PC that's over there, I have the Simply Colorful email site on my PC, and I have my password logged in over there and it's automatically set to go in i can't remember what my password is so i can't log in anywhere else and until i go reset my password i can't figure out how to get it over here so that's my excuse i'm sticking with it it's not a very good one i know <sighs> well what a fun thing to do with abby Okay, so now this one is just a long, narrow one with a few, it's blue and long and just a few white pieces on the end. Okay, there's that. To the other end here. I'm kind of curious how this is all going to go together. Our neighbor Rusty came over. I know you can't hear the band up here at all. In fact, it doesn't sound like they're playing. Our neighbor Rusty from across the street came over and he had a carbon monoxide tester. And he said he was going around the neighborhood and helping everyone test their carbon monoxide. And he, last I saw, he was walking downstairs to where the band was playing. So maybe they all had a carbon monoxide lesson instead of playing. I have never met a man like my husband who gets so interested in carbon monoxide, anything heating unit related. But, and, and he's all self-taught. Well, did he? No, he did take a boiler class, a boiler fixing class. He can fix boilers. He fixed one at a rental property just this week. I'm in, in amazement. So I laugh at him when he talks boilers, but he really does know how to fix them. Which is a great skill. This is odd. This is just a plain triangle that we need. Not quite sure where that goes. I think I'm going to... I'm going to tack this down and then cut it out. We have come so far from the, the 
templates when we were kids with this cut in the cereal box and oh yay yay. Okay. So that's gonna go somewhere. We have one more, this big one. And then we put it all together. Okay, remember, use these numbers. They really are helpful. So one is way over here, because they're kind of counterintuitive. You wouldn't know it would be way over there. There's one. Do this big piece here. One and two. So I made these biscotti for tomorrow's cookie exchange and I've never made them before and I'm kind of hoping I didn't overcook them they had like a three-part process and I did use a mix believe it or not but I think they're gonna be good if I didn't overcook them they're gonna be fine I used a cranberry bread mix so like cranberry pound cake type mix and then you put melted butter in two eggs and you mix it all up stir it 75 times then you put it into a 350 degree oven oh then you form it into two flat loaves like eight inches by two inches by <clears throat> they didn't really tell you how high but i did it about an inch two of those put it in the oven for 20 minutes then you take it out until it's golden brown actually 25 to 30 minutes then you take it out and you let it cool for 15 minutes. Then you cut it into three quarter inch strips and that's where you get that biscotti shape. Then you turn it on its side, put it back on the tray, the baking pan, and you put it back in the oven for another 18 minutes. After 10 minutes, you go in and you turn them over and then you take it out and let it cool. So it, it looked good until the last turn. I turned it after 10 minutes and they looked beautiful. Then I left it for eight more minutes. And when I came back, it was pretty dark. So I'm hoping I didn't goof it up. Because then of course, just before I came up here, I had to drizzle it with melted chocolate, which was fun. Not dark chocolate, just semi-sweet chocolate. But I'll let you know if it works. Because if it does, that could be a good... Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I need white. I love to eat food and cooking. I just... Right now, our kitchen is, is not organized such that it's very fun to cook. Because I always have to look for things where... Ugh. We're getting there. But that's okay. I don't need to cook sweets anyway. Okay, we're getting there. There's that. Now we'll do this. Everyone got in their flu shot? It's time, you know. How was that for a random thought? <laughs> How did I go from biscotti to the flu? That is a question. Uh. 
Okay. That's right. We cover a, a broad range of things from carbon monoxide to biscotti baking processes to paper piecing. I love paper piecing. I've seen several of you paper piecing. Do you know what was really fun was I went back to our Facebook page, the Simply Colorful Mystery Quilt Along, and I looked at the previous mystery quilts, and it's so fun to see what everyone has done. You, you really, you blew my socks off, the different quilts that everyone has made here. Really cool. We're to the point where we could box them up into, well, I bet I cut that too small. Yeah, I did. Um, what could we do? Oh, we could make a calendar. We could make greeting cards with our Simply Colorful quilts on them. Anyway, it's just fun to look at. This is a very interesting piece. So now I have two more pieces, two more white pieces, and then we put it together. Okay. So here. to go look and see what happened on this day. Once I do this, we'll go take a look at that. Once I finish this corner. So rarely happens when you're using Aurifil, doesn't it? So let's open this up and clean it out. Hmm. There we go. Carol, if you're out there, hi. Although Carol might be sleeping by now. She she confessed to me at Thanksgiving that she tends to fall asleep, or someone did. Maybe it was Cam told me that she falls asleep around 8.30, which is quite funny. To me, because I do the same thing. Especially when it's so dark out. Oh, I'm sorry you can't see that. My Bernina over there outside of the camera view is just real filling up. Bobbin. software allows you to print out the whole quilt and those are the squares that we've done so far it's going to take forever 
But with Orifil, you get big bobbins, which is good. I'm going to sneeze. Here we go. Beautiful. Here and here. Beth Allen, if you're out there, I bet you're getting excited for Missouri. That will be fun. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So now we're ready to put our pieces together. And I finger press that open. Isn't that funky looking? Hmm. Let's cut this. And then after I cut it, we'll check the mail. And then we'll put it all together. Oh, what a nice way to unwind from a long week, huh? Just the cutting of fabric is so nice. Oh, I think I figured it out. That goes up like this. At least I know that much. That's going to be the top. Ha, I think. Ha! Huh. Okay. Well, here are all of our pieces. Let's see who's out there, and then we will get to putting it together. Oh, this is a pretty Christmas picture. Isn't that pretty? Whoop. That's a vineyard colors picture. It's a street in Edgartown. They have vineyard colors is another fun site on Facebook if you follow them. Oh, hi Siri. I don't need anything. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness, Eileen, hi. My goodness, I'm so glad you're here with us. She says, I'm listening to you while I press my neutral four patches and prepping fabric for the purple four patches for my mystery. Finish the Tri-Rex, good for you. Last week, never finished the mystery last year. That's okay. She says, all I need to do are the flip and stitch rectangles and put the blocks together. So I'm working on that between this year's clues. It kept getting put on the back burner all year because of commitments I had made to other things. Maybe I'll finish both this year, she says. That's the plan anyway. Oh, I think that's a great plan. And I'm so glad you're out there. Wow, I haven't heard from you in so long. Eileen, and I hope I'm saying it right, I Eileen, has a very unique spelling to her name. It's L-L-I-N-E. And I hope I've got it right. I think I do. Sandra! Hello! Oh, Sandra, fabulous Fibercast Friday, she titles her email. She says, hi, Lynn and everyone. Oh, I'm just eating a bowl of chili while watching tonight. It's going down to the 20s again tonight, so I had to make a pot of chili to survive. L-O-L. It's perfect, perfect for this kind of, of Day. She says, I love your camper quilt. Beautiful as all of your work is. Aww. I've been crocheting some Christmas dishcloths for my gifts as everyone likes them so much. Hugs from the deep freeze in Mississippi. Aww. And she has a smiley face with the, the heart eyes that I love so much. Aww. Very good. Those dishcloths are the best, aren't they? Aww. I'm so glad you're out there. I saw you guys must think I lurk, and I really don't, but in the morning and the night, I do check my Facebook, and Sandra, I saw that you were out with 
friends at your holiday party, and I love seeing that. That's what it's all about. Ding! Maureen says, I'm going to St. Martin in May. I can't wait. Oh, awesome. Where do you go? Do you go to the Dutch side or the French side? Awesome. I'm, I'm jealous, and that's a perfect time in May. That's great. And that's Maureen in PA. Norma. Hi, Norma. She says, I made it home to watch the last half, and I'll go back and watch the first part later. She says, I haven't been doing much sewing. I've been watching a lot of Christmas movies. That's great. She says, I plan on getting back to the brown bag mystery and doing the Bonnie Hunter quilt mystery. And I still have got to quilt my granddaughter's quilt. I hope you and all the fiber casters have a wonderful weekend. Thank you. Thank you. And Christmas movies are perfect this time of year. The funny ones, the Grinch, the... Um, Miracle on something street, 32nd street. Do I have that right? I probably don't. I'm not good with remembering all that stuff. And Sue, Sue says, I just got connected. I hope I haven't missed much. You haven't at all. And yay for dear Jane. Oh, Sue, I'm glad you're out there. Let's see. I hope I haven't missed anyone. Again, thank you to all our Patreons. Love that you're doing that. Agnes, Joan, Lee. Did I show you all what Lee has been working on? Check this out. She says, Lee writes, the mystery quilt has gotten me paper piecing. And look at this. Isn't that festive and fall-like? Now, of course, she did it. Let me do the other one. There's another one here, too. She did a great job. That's Christmassy. Don't you love that? That's a nice one to end on. Let's see, but we have one more minute and we need to sew this together. So let's see if we can figure this out. I don't want to leave us hanging. We should see what it's going to look like. So again, this is bottom row. It's supposed to look like that. So I'm going to turn it around and see if I can put it together for us. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, right. Here we go. It's like a puzzle. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay, we know this goes on the bottom. Where do these two go? Oh. <laughs> All right. There's that. Okay, I don't know if you can see that upside down. But there it is. All right, so bear with me. We're gonna go two minutes over so that we can finish this. Actually, it might be five minutes over. And this is where I do use my pins. I pin through on the top and bottom. Sorry, everyone, I didn't realize we were coming up so close to the hour. See what we can get done in 70 minutes? <laughs> okay. Maybe while I'm doing Doing this, we should all be thinking about what we're thankful for. We made it through another week. We maybe we learned something new. We met some new people. 
we're here doing and thinking what we love to do. Ooh, that looks terrible on the back. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can do that. Meaning, I missed it by probably a sixteenth of an inch on the back, the line. So now, that means we have to try and compensate everywhere. <laughs> So there's that. Now what we want to do and again it's really important to keep your stitches very close together. 1.6, 1.7 especially if like me you're using regular computer paper. I don't have the newsprint. So my paper's even thicker than it really should be. So I need some real good perforation so that when I go to pulling it off it can be done. And I'm I'm pinning right through keeping the my two pieces of paper as perpendicular as I can. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. So does everyone has everyone thought of what they're thankful for? Okay. <laughs> Good. I'm going through a lot of layers here. So now everyone think about this weekend. Okay, that's pretty good. And how we can enjoy our weekend without getting overstressed with the holidays. Does everyone have a game plan for that? Okay, one, two, three more. And are you carving out time to sew? Like the fact that we do this on Friday nights, and I've said this before, it's, I never would get this much done if we weren't all doing this together. So thank you. And you know, it's something that's in your blood if you keep doing it three years later. So thank you for just being right here, doing what you do, sharing the love of fiber art. Oops, I wanna do that. All right, let's do this. I have to go under the table. We're getting there. One more minute. I know people have bedtimes. Or it's really late in Yorkshire, Carol. Two more seams. And we will have finished tartan. Like I say, I'll put a link on the Simply Colorful website to get to the Dear Jane book and software. Put it on your Christmas list. Okay. 
And if maybe you haven't become a patron yet, we'd love for you to do that. Ask for it for Christmas. Heck, you get a t-shirt. Your Simply Colorful t-shirt right now. The t-shirts are green. Okay. There's that. And we have one more. Don't, don't leave me now. Okay. There it is. Put that on. Make sure. Okay, that's right. We'll just click here. Putting the pins on the corners. Oh, paper piecing is very satisfying, isn't it? It allows you to do these very intricate things. Okay, let's see how it looks. There it is. That is called Tartan. It's BR11 in Dear Jane, bottom row, the 11th one over. I want to thank you all for joining me tonight. As always, I had a ball. I hope you did too. It's amazing what we get done in 60, 70 minutes, give or take. Have a great weekend. Happy holidays. Thanks for being there. Bye, everyone. See you next Friday night.